Okay, we are Eka from Bangkok. Yes, we flew here first time because we would like to share what we have found throughout our experience, especially recent event we attended. Uh, let me introduce myself first to know each other. You can call me Eka Pap. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Thanks all for you guys for coming today. Uh, do you know where is it? Um, this is Chiang Mai, where I all, uh, was born and raised. The city which is surrounded by mountain and river as here, Kuching. Yes. Uh, this is my father. He is an artist here. So I have lived in an environment of us artistic family. Before I choose to study about architecture, I ever to choose to study music too. Uh, but my father say, how can we earn money from uh, playing the, the music? Yes. Um, we used to name our studio at NOTDS. It come from a uh, north of Thailand design studio because of uh, it's the root of from our local and now the urban is a mixture of two different things that define who we are now. So we are Eka now. Just a few weeks before we come here, uh, we have a chance to talk about this word. How can you pronounce it? Mix, right? So today we will talk about this word in our definition and what we have learned from the latest event a few weeks ago in Berlin by Flo Project today. It's a World Architectural Festival 2017 in Berlin this year from uh, November 15 and 16. The great opportunity that we can share our idea to the world mix. Uh, this guy is my father. We call this project the first project one that multi place. Place for us, we call it because uh, when we talk about the mixed use project, people always think about the blended of residential, commercial, cultural, or industrial uses in one huge scale of project. So, but place for us is beyond this. The first mix is a uh, user. Start with our lovely client. These two, a brother in law, they both invest on buying this land together. As a middle class people, they always think about how to make the best profit out of it. This guy is a doctor, sir. he is a veterinarian, and Dr. Heath is a pharmacist. When I heard this, their requirement, I was talking to myself that uh, these are what they need for the tight project of this. Seriously? Uh, doctors uh, want to have a clinic, pet shop, car park, and want to have a home of his family, and contain of all of the home. And Dr. Heath want to have a living studio, a hostel, cafe, garden, and pharmacy inside this tidy place. Moreover, they really want to separate their zone. Yes. So we have to convince them to live separately but still connected in a way. The main question at the beginning, how we can squeeze all of these requirements into provided area and to feel like a livable home. The second mix is context. Here we are in Kuching, and our site is in Thailand. Here, yeah. you may be familiar with Bangkok, but actually our project is in Sulatani, is a south of Bangkok, the middle between us. Uh, which I think uh, the weather familiar with here is far from Bangkok around. 400 miles away. 
The clients ask us to design the house which can generate the business, which we call the shop house. Because of the location in the prime area to make money in the middle of the city. So, the next challenge of this project is uh, because of the land price and how we must combine both residential and retail together. It's uh, actually the typical shop house in Thailand. Okay, let's guess where is here? China? No, it is uh, in Thailand. As we know, Yawrat Road or Bangkok Chinatown. It's a stereotype is that there's a lot of signage, colors, noise, and looks very busy. Can you imagine that how people live inside are living in? As you see here above, it's a shop house around our side, real side. They are trying to make use of their facade by provided advertising side to make money. Imagine how can they breathe inside. Does it look nice? Why below the shop house in other country looks totally different? London, Milan, or Singapore. So the analysis of a typical shop house in Thailand of this day, look at the first, first day. The new one always look nice and clean. Also, it can be allow the person to take view outside. Later on, people who live inside, they always start being aware of uh, security, so that they are trying to build a protection grill made from the steel. Eventually, they move forward with advance to utilize their facade to promote their business or allow the people to rent the site. These are four examples. This is opposite of our site. So this is our dry camera analysis and to see different views along the road. Look at the left bottom photo here. There are always have street food. Then there are a lot of electric wire here and poles. Those kiosks make pedestrians cannot help walking on the road instead. Ideally, the footpath is supposed to be built for pedestrians, but when you take a look of this image, the monks need to walk into the street, and <laughs> the pedestrian is a, a street food. So it's very confused. So the context that we are talking about is the location, and how could we transform the shop house in the middle of this pollution, noise, and messy context to be like a home. The main question at the beginning is, how can we squeeze all requirements into provided area and to feel like livable home? From our study, we represent the clear acrylic box as a natural area Inserting into the building both vertical and horizontal space to allow natural light and wind into the whole living space, while the solid wood is represent a usable function. As I mentioned earlier, the clients want to gain maximized area for use. The acrylic trying to analyze by, by this study to convince them that the law, the law cannot allow to take up the whole area as they request, while creating a sense of home that allows nature to come in. So, this is all a function and it needs to come to be a one project. And this is the result of why we study the vertical open space here. 
Left is the house. At the right is the hotels. The vertical open space uh, that allow nature into the building, both light and wind, to circulate the whole building, is our intention to transform the typical so-called shop house to the new definition of a multi-place. The green areas seems like it separate the two user, uh, but actually it indicate that living without a wall. We call it a natural core. As a big user issue, these are two sites. Here, left is a veterinary guardian, and life is a, a hostel. Natural core in our mean here is natural light, natural green, and natural flow, which means every space from the east to west. These are coming of thinking process diagram to reality. This is a hotel site. It also means that every space can true all of the building. This only little space that we have created, but it can create an impact natural diffusion to the whole building. As we always believe, the little things can make a big difference. That's why we try to create the sense of place which flew like home. You can see here, the glass box allow the opposite light from the east side into the west side, into the court as well. Imagine if we can uh, work while uh, doing an operation of a dog while still uh, live with the nature. The light from natural core this fills all around the inside space from bedroom, living area, dining, and examination room. The bedroom balcony and the pet clinic. So we have had three big sets. The fourth, let's talk about the materials. Up to the point, all that you have seen, we think about the inside first. Because of behind the story, you know what? The owner always told us all the time that outside, please, easy to make it cheap and just install the sign that you've seen on. But well, that is the way that we, we want to create that. We have a hard time to convince them. <clears throat> Finally, we found something that's cheap to offer them, the glass block and the concrete blocks. Why we pick up these materials is about the interesting variation of void and opening. And the concrete is also durable and help noise absorption of the messy context. These materials must be easy for them to understand. I mean, uh, not only really cheap, but they need to understand that it's cheap. So they, have, they must have seen them every day in their life. So in example, the fence or the wall or the local toilet here, so they say, yes, we can be use this material because they think it's cheap. Actually, it might be not. <laughs> so we implement those mixed materials onto the facade according to mixed function and mixed user. Although there are a complicated function or serve these two people, we consider to the most important things in the common are three keys. Opening needs, privacy, and pollution outside. The pet size of the left is a home here. Two for a blow retails is a house. They need privacy. But the lower floor is a, is, 
is a living living areas and dining areas. The upper floor need more uh, privacy, so it's solid more solid clean from the most private part. And four reduce the noise while you are sleeping or you are resting. And the hostel side uh, is uh, all of the room. We treat the screen as a sequence from below to above. The lower level is close to the street, so we need a more solid, and the upper is far from the street. So we make it more opening. From all the myths that we have been explaining, this is what we expect as a result. And here it uh, become to a reality. You know what? Many people are where things this is project is only the facade. The concrete box outside can create livable space for people as a home that truly responds to their real need instead of only the shop house. When you live inside, you can believe that you are in the middle of shop house as a neighborhood here. The balcony of the bedroom the different solid screen from the third floor, from the house size. And we have something interesting to share. It's about the sense of belonging of architecture that we have found. On the right is what we propose to design, but the real thing is here. This is what we propose. The simple details of the wood to be the handrail for the different scales of uh, people who use uh, children and parents. But, you know, when we back after they leave around six months, we come back to shoot this picture here. Uh, we found something like this. How can they put the tissue paper? in the space that can be wet. We, we decide for a wet, and how, they, how the wall can be a, the umbrella hanging, and where's my railing? <laughs> it makes that we need to rethink. This is lovely, actually. And it's the way of actual life of people live. It's a, we call it the beauty of real life. We are all, and architects, have a big lesson learned that we have to decide a place for people to live in. But the real person who lives in can be used the space in the one who owns it, not us, not architects. It's the real sense of belonging of an owner. Actually, um, it start from we try to make the client understand about the design because of he will approve our design. We try to make everything the details easy for he for, for easy for him to understand. Finally, he he think everything he are a part of the side of this house, and he have a sense of uh, belonging. This is he. he he might be can say uh, he decide all of details by himself, but actually it's the the, the what 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 we want to do. Uh, this wall, not not our design, but it come from the wood. The wood is easy, and he can find it easy. So I choose the wood. Then he has a friend who who sell the wood. Uh, he decide this wall. Like a, he say the concept is from the piano. Yes, it's like a piano key. This is our design, and this is a, a shelf that we design. You know what? This is another interesting. We designed the logo for the retails on the left side. Here. 
but because of the owner liked his place so much, so he had a strong sense of belonging, as we told. He changed the logo inside, made from the wood by himself, which uh, actually from our original simply wooden design. Before I shooting this uh, photo, I thinking to ask him to put it out, but the, as we say that finally it's lovely. The bookshelf and the details of a stair. And a one, two to uh, the all of a uh, function. This is a cafe, the hotel lobby, the cafe, guest house area, pharmacy, pet shop, the house park. Okay, as we talked before, the last thing, client would like to gain a maximum volume, value of business with the big signage, with the advertise, advertisement. Whatever it takes, even size, border of the street, almost four meters, as we see in the picture here. But finally, the client owns the building that expresses itself without depends on signage. They still can business and they have a dominant building in the neighborhood. Also, people in the community start changing their perception about the shop house, about the commercial buildings. They like it. And they always call this is the nice building instead of the big signage building. As we have been through the whole slide, we have transformed the old perception of the shop house into the new definition of the commercial buildings in that neighborhood. For us, in terms of mixed use, doesn't always mean a building comprised of many functions, but the most important thing is it is the multi place that is involved with diversity use and living of people. It doesn't need to be a huge but somehow it can create an impact change to upstream quality of life. It's changed the perception how its shop house should be. Okay, next meet. What do you think about this place? This is a office. Details of the house. Actually, this is the same place. The owner lived in the place like this before. When I go to his place, I can tell what exactly it should be called. How can he live like this? Is he happy? Yes. The mix of uh, many functions in one area. This is uh, in the one room, two beds and play area working area in the bedroom or storage with a document office. The exercise areas, storage, living, laundry, dining area, and the bed area is in the tiny space. So the challenge of this project is we need to bring all of this to be a place to living in, work and personal life. These are required function of he need office and home to contain a t-shirt office and a t-shirt store and must have a storage big one too. The next challenge is we have to think about where is it located. It's in the middle of the old and local community with the high density. Another issue is uh, how can we put our function squeeze into the quiet, limited land plot? So our solution is how to analyze its context to take advantage of the view 
for each space by the window. So we uh, put the opening into the right place with uh, people use inside every space. Like a meeting room has a big area here. All for sitting and all to see the fish pond. Or dining table here. This is how they work. Only the light and the window made the space like this. This is a living area, and the window in the working area can look the sky past here. The bedroom can be look the sky in this area. This is a process diagram of how we combine the work and the personal life together to organize space while they look separate, but at the same time, they still have a quality of flowing relationship. the work and the living combined together to be like a tree, tea crossing diagram. The fabric is the key element we use to define two different zones. Because of our client is uh, have a business about a t-shirt. The most importantly is reflect his identity of what he does, which is a t-shirt production. This Fabric also helps diffuse the strong sunlight through the house softly. As we, as, as we all know, especially, especially in Thailand, the light is quite hot and we have to think carefully about it. That is why we place this fabric into the stair. Yes, the heart of the, the, heart of the house uh, where the owner uses lettuce in one day. This is the answer why I argued at the beginning is the result of the process of thinking. This star is direct to the office area and if you want to get to the home, you need to go to this way and walk to the home in this, this star. And this can see together or uh, actually not, can I see the shadow of, to get, of both. This is the house area, and this is the office area. The light comes to here, past the subject to this side. Not only we have to create a space to meet owner's requirements of the house, but also we have to think about the little things in response to family members' life. The grandmother loved the traditional Thai Su, while the grandson or our owner prefer the modern style so far. So we combine that together to be a big sofa and can be uh, adapt to be uh, many function in the tiny area. So what you have seen is, I would say it's my, uh, actually it's my first project after I graduate. It makes me realize that architecture, which is created from the true inside of person and suit his real need, can uplift one person's life better and make them have a sense of belonging and love their place more than before. Here. Okay, again, please take a rest and look in this photo. It's my uh, latest project finished. You know what? Actually, 
we were assigned to renovate this house. This house. That I call generation two. And this is a generation one house. Was originally built because of their parents. So after our design, this house complete, the owners start to think for the next generation, which is for their daughter. Mina is her name. It reminds us of the traditional Thai way of living, that one family must live together as a compound area in one land, and connect all of the house by grand patio. So this project come up with the owner bought the land beside their parents here, who area the grandfather, grand grandfather of Mina. This is a second floor that I inspired from the grand patio, the traditional Thai house. This area play an uh, important role as main space to connect with greenery garden between grandparents' house and Mina residence. Not only advantage of beautiful view, but also ventilation purpose. This is a grandfather house. We try to combine the two gardens to be a big one and bring the green space to the second floor. The east side of the land is opposite of a fourth story of an economic apartment. Therefore, the architects conceal the house on this side in order to block unpleasant view as we as to protect the residents from uh, playing eyes by providing window or void at the maximum number. Back to the ground floor. This is a main entrance of the each side which are made of solid wood. Here. Um, you know what? Um, the living of the people here can be prey of all of the house. They um, might be uh, not wearing the clothes. And this building have an uh, electric pro here too. So that's why we need to design this partition like this. And people always think uh, this house is look uh, solid. It's because of uh, we want to block the view from there. This is inside, and can see outside. This is a stair of a grandfather can come to meet uh, the family. And we designed the grand patio here uh, like a place for bring the grandfather come to join this area with our own family. This is all of the details of this house. As you see, the each floor has uh, different materials and the textures. It is our intention to reflect that each box of different materials belong to each next generation to grow in the future. The one box is me, the one family, and the one generation. So that's why we call this house is a 
regeneration house, there can be a move the house when uh, change the generation as we decide this one and next is this one. Okay, this is the last project of today. For my first project, a shop house, a t-shirt house, and generation house. Finally, we talk about the temple. We just heard that uh, you have a church and all the religions place. In Thailand, we have a temple, the Buddhist, which is 90% uh, of population go to temple as I am. From my childhood, I'm very familiar with this style of building. You know what? It is a toilet of the temple. Actually, we decided the toilet, not the temple. <laughs> oh, actually, no. We, uh, we decided this temple too. But today, I want to share about uh, the toilet. <laughs> Maybe next time, we will talk about this temple. In the Thai culture, we normally go to the temple for a ritual to have a peace of mind. But for my, the core value of Buddhism is uh, to be a self-conscious. Then people can understand, give, and find a way out of grief. As architects, it is hard to believe that a simple small architecture could be enable people to understand such a significant concept which requires the cast of an uh, endeavor. What if a simple space allows the people to spend their quick moment of being self-conscious rather than reaching the great Nippana? Therefore, we use this idea into the general everyday activity like an uh, excretion. The architecture design concept is to transform just a quick moment of using a toilet to quality moment to a space surrounded by blissful atmosphere to encourage people to be restful and self-conscious in a shortly and simply moment. I'm not to tell you about the, the, the temple, but it is a toilet in the temp temple. Normally, in Thailand, when we have a big ritual in the temple's event, there will be a huge amount of people, sometimes like a thousand, to come. So the toilet is a very important of them. They need to be a super easy, accessible, and quick come and go. Then they will decide to look like a long row of 80 meters toilet. And it's used to be built as cheap as possible by donation. And this is our requirement. The huge parking space by how to create the nice toilet area. We were thinking about what suit with criteria the most low cost and the beauty. So we work with the nature. The Ficus T. Tree are living things. They have life, so have to grow up. While waiting for the tree to fulfill the privacy, we decide to use the twist steel plate. As a row of screen, it will be. Eventually, the tree are both of these two kinds of material can achieve our goal to provide both privacy and flowing of every space. And this greenery place make the 80 meters toilet uh, more lively and uh, privacy also. The airy space inside. Because of the number of people uses, and it's maintained, it needs maintenance. We designed a slow floor to allow the water by each user. They support by themselves. 
is cleaning by themselves, drain and taking care of their, as you see it. The back of the restroom and the temple. So the final architectural roles take part in every aspect of human. The role as an architect is to do things with uh, devotion, even to it is just a restroom, a very small building. From my perspective, even this is not the great architecture that can create the greatest shift into the world. User, but user can sense another value of this building rather than the function role. This is uh, already meaningful to the context that is the architect, architect's created with. For the last part, we would like to wrap up of from that we start the word of mix. In our point, only one thing or one function has never called uh, architecture. Architecture is always about the intricate of uh, so many things from the spirit, the culture, or the context, the function or the requirements, the user or owner. It's all about more than one thing. That's why we call it mix. So when people talk about mixed use, architecture is always and is already mixed. Thank you. <laughs>